Hi my elegant family, welcome again to another episode on the Winnie School of Elegance channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all my nighttime skincare routine. Some time ago, I shared my morning time skincare routine, um, what I do to achieve beautiful glowy skin every single day and all of the products that I use to achieve it. In this video, we're going to be doing the reverse of things and I'm going to be showing you the night time. Now, the night time is a time for rest and relaxation. It's the time where people go to sleep and have a good time sleep and all of that. But did you know that what you do can actually set you up for a good night's rest or a bad night's rest? Now, the night time is for rest, relaxation, and it's the time where most people actually fall asleep. And I always advise anyone, especially my elegant family, to always ensure that you have a nighttime skincare routine. Your skin deserves all of the love and attention. And guess what? The nighttime when you're sleeping, or resting is the time that your body rejuvenates itself and literally resets itself. And that's why it's important that you're setting up your skin for a beautiful, perfect, glorious reset. And it's also very important that you commit to a consistent routine so that you see results. Now, enough talking, let's just go right into it. So I go to bed at about 8 p.m. and I just got done with my, my day's activities and I just thought instead of just um, having my nighttime routine off camera, why not just do it on camera and just show you guys what it looks like. So to begin the routine, I'm going to start by taking off my makeup. So to take off my makeup, I'm going to be using the Skin by Zaron Micellar Cleansing Water. This one was actually a product that was introduced to me by my makeup artist before i discovered this product i used to use the wipes um the facial wipes which um, my makeup artist said was not advisable to use wipes because what wipes does is that wipes just ends up um, um pushing the makeup products into your skin especially if you have pores so she recommended the micellar water and i've been using the micellar water for a long time now and guys, when I tell you that this is the literally the only product that you need to take away makeup from your face, like when you apply the makeup, the micellar water on your makeup, it just melts it off and like it's, it's like magic. It's really magic. And one thing I love about the micellar water is that when you're taking off the makeup from your face, you don't have to drag your skin a lot like just a little dab or a little swipe will take out a lot of makeup i'll show you now so i just use a cutting pad like this one and i just soak it with the water like so and then i just i think i need to take off my earrings first guys hold on and then i just swipe can you see with one swipe, I already have, can you see that, that part of my face, the makeup has disappeared. And this is what you have, guys. Like, that's how magical the micellar water works. And I usually use about three or four of these pads to take off the makeup from my face. Because I love to ensure that I take out enough of the makeup before I go, I wash it. So that's the first part done. You can see that the makeup has started to come off and it's coming off very easily. So I'm just going to complete the process. guys that's all the makeup out of my face it was super duper easy to do this ensure that you're getting as much of the makeup out of your face before you wash the next step in my nighttime routine would definitely be for me to take a bath now I always advise that you have your bath at least two times a day especially if you have or have had a very busy sweaty day like I've had today so I'm just gonna go into the bathroom now take a bath just from head to toe 
and um, I'm also going to pay close attention to my face as well. So for today, I'm going to be scrubbing my face with the Skin by Zaron Exfoliating and Hydrating Glow. I think I talked about this product in the my skincare um, morning routine. So I'm using the exfoliating because I really want to give my face a good scrub because I've had makeup on it the past two days. So I'm giving it a good scrub and then I would also go in with the Skin by Zaron Acne Control Glow Face Wash just to cleanse things a second time. I always advise that whenever you put on makeup, it's important that you're double cleansing your skin so that you ensure that all of the makeup products are totally completely gone from your face. So I'll first of all exfoliate and then I would use the Acne Control Glow Face Wash to wash the face. These two products I must have in your um, skincare collection, okay? So let me just go into the bathroom now, take a bath, wash my face and then I'll come back. When I come back, I'll be totally transformed, okay? So, so I'm back guys and I have taken a good bath and I have moisturized my entire skin. Um, so what I use for my moisturizing is the Skin by Zaron Vitamin C Brightening Moisturizing Body Lotion. It's the absolute best. It gives you this beautiful glow, keeps your skin really nice and succulent and just makes you feel very, very fresh all day long. And it also brightens your skin as well. So after moisturizing, sorry guys, after moisturizing, um, for my face, which is where I pay the most attention to um, in my nighttime skincare routine. Um, you guys, it's that time of the month. So I'm having some breakouts on my cheeks, which is very common whenever it is that time of the month. But the first thing first after cleansing my face would be for me to use the brightening toner. I use the Skin by Zaron Ultimate Glow Brightening Toner just to um, give my, my face a second cleanse and I just pour some of these in the cutting pad and I just um, I just gently swipe it across my face remember I said in my morning routine that you must be very careful when you're handling your facial skin guys and one thing you will notice is that after washing your face I literally double cleansed my face but I can still see some ma um, excess makeup on on my face after using the toner so this is also something that the toner does it also helps remove any leftover um, makeup on your face any leftover makeup products on your face guys I'm tired I've had a very long day today and I'm just trying to film this video quickly so that I can go to bed so I just swipe the face with the toner toner is actually really good it's very good for brightening exfoliating and hydrating as well it has niacinamide and hyaluronic acid as well you guys those names are very funny but trust me they do your body a lot of good okay so that's the toner done the next step in my skincare routine would be for me to use the vitamin c serum i use this in my morning routine as well so it means that i use the vitamin c serum twice a day i highly recommend that you add this product to your skincare routine it literally is a game changer and i just place a few drops on the palm of my hand just rub it in together like so and then i just blend it into my skin in that motion be very very gentle don't forget the ears and then don't forget under the neck as well very important okay whatever you have left just place it at the back of your hand whatever is good for your face is definitely good for your hand if you want to have younger looking hands <laughs> Um, next up, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let that sit in for just about one minute or a few seconds and you guys, when I'm doing my, my nighttime routine, it's a time where I just like to relax, refresh myself and then just meditate a bit or think through the day to see how my day went and what I can do. Um, to make tomorrow a better day what I didn't do right it's just a time for me to just reflect and just look inwards to see what I can do better 
um, the next day. So when you are performing your nighttime routine, it's important that you are just um, taking the time to just self-reflect and just shower yourself with some love which is something that i like to do and one thing that i like to do while i'm waiting for my product to sit on my face is i just go with a little bit of a moisturizer on my palm like this and i just give my hand a good rub so i just moisturize my hand and then just give it a good massage like it's also a way for me to just um relax slow down and think through the day and just um, reflect on the whole day it's just something i do I'm, Maybe you can incorporate it into your nighttime routine as well. It's a total game changer, right? So once I'm done with the vitamin C serum, the next thing I go in with is the, the Skin by Zara Night Glow Plus. This one has retinol in it. It also has glycolic acid, kojic acid, and the alpha apotene but i use it mainly because of the retinol content retinol is only supposed to be used at night because you don't want to use retinol and expose yourself to the sun it doesn't work so it's also only supposed to be used at night so all i do is i just place a few pumps of that on my palm like so and i'm always very generous with it because i also like a good glow this will literally help your skin glow at night as long as as well as perform the functions that retinol performs on the face so oh my god oh i already feel the softness on my skin so just walk it into your face just gently and nicely and you can already tell that your face or your skin is sipping in all of the goodness. Oh, it's highly hydrating and very moisturizing, which is actually one of the reasons I love it so well. You guys never skip a good nighttime skincare routine, guys. This is one way to set yourself up for a good night rest. So I'm just going to let that sip in for another one minute or a few seconds and then what i'm going to go in with next is at this point my face is already well hydrated and well moisturized but if you want that glow at night that glow that just there's something that that glow does that just makes you feel a lot more um girly feminine and all of that good stuff you either go in with the zaron hydrating serum or you go in with a good moisturizer just to lock in all of that goodness. So I either use the hydrating serum and I told you in my morning skincare routine that if you're using the hydrating serum, you don't necessarily have to use a moisturizer. You can use both if you want, but I mean, why stress when you can just use one, right? So for that perfect moisturizing, hydrating effect, I'll just go in with the hydrating serum as the last thing that I'm wearing on my face tonight this is you can stop at this point with just the night glow but if you want to be extra like me and give your face a good hydration because i sleep with the air conditioner on and sometimes the air conditioner tends to dry out your skin and i don't want to wake up in the morning with very dried out skin so that's why i'm going in with the extra moisture from the hydrating serum my skin feels very alive and fresh and i think i'm definitely ready for bed the last thing in my skincare routine would be to apply my lip balm just to give my lips a good glow because the lips des deserve a, a lot of love and attention as well. So I'm just going to apply that and mm, this girl is ready for bedtime. And that's pretty much it guys. That's all of the steps in my nighttime skincare routine easy peasy straight to the point i do this every night consistently and it has literally helped my skin stay supple fresh glowy and i always love love a good glow before bedtime all the products that i use for my nighttime skincare routine are from the zaron brand you can use this discount code now showing on the screen to shop and get a 15 percent discount on all your purchases from their website trust me guys the zaron brand is definitely a brand that you can trust for all of your skincare and your makeup needs. I'll see you again in another video. Until then, good night. <laughs>